All right, welcome back to Educating Greater Manchester with me, uh, me favourite northern blokes, uh, Lewis Buchan and Gab Gurkham. Why are you using that Ooh. accent for Manchester, firstly? Is that how they speak up there? No, it's like... Sunshine. It's like... It's like... <laughs> it's like... Uh, sunshine! This is you named the one adjective that they don't get. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I think it's more like, this is Manchester United. That's more kind of what they say. Uh, they say Andy Tate. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Well, yeah, we're watching Educate Greater Manchester. Um, I, I'm hoping uh, some educating gets done because uh, they need it up north. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that's Shut up. There. Let's just watch, man. Let's just get into it. Bloody hell. Subscribe, by the way. Um, if you're from the north, you might not know where that button is, but it's under it's under the video. I, Alex, I will <laughs> literally leave. I just remembered when you and James Murray got cancelled on Twitter because you said Scotland doesn't have an education system. <laughs> that was a good, Why do you get cancelled for speaking fucks? Uh, yeah, I know, man. Oh, yeah. The truth. The truth wills out, I'm telling you. Let's go. This is ominous, isn't it? What an ominous start. I swear big... this is the start of Deathly Hallows. <laughs> yeah, Diagon Ali's changed a bit. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> that actually does, you know, it does look like the beginning of Deathly Hallows. I am literally just going to see, like, Hedwig go, ha! <laughs> any second. Oh my god. That's actually how they get the mail delivered up oh, no, yeah, yeah, we use Owl. <laughs> In Newcastle, right, so we don't have post Fuck man. off! We have post owls. Post owls. <laughs> <laughs> in Newcastle, they like stamp letters with like you know they use like a seal. Can anyone <laughs> think of any Royal Mail bird pun? Um, 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 royal tails? Do birds have tails? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they do. I don't, think, I don't know. I don't think they do. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> if birds have tails, guys. Is it gale a bird? Turn left. No, I don't think so. Hold on, I'll get mixed up on left and right. Oh. It's good stuff from Manchester there. Don't know my, <laughs> oh, yeah. don't know my lefts and rights. You have some breakfast? Yeah, of course. No, you mean no, don't you? You need to eat some breakfast, Corda. Share my breakfast if you want. Oh, right. Why is she sitting in the back seat as well? Is this like a an Uber or something? I, I mean, I don't, were you allowed to sit in the front seat on the way to school? I guess it depends what age you were, really. You um, weren't allowed to sit in the front seat to school. I had to sit in the front seat because my head would hit the roof <laughs> in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> my parents hated did me, you go to, Did you go to school in a smart car? No, my mum had one of them uh, Ford Pumas, which is like the the real, I don't know, if you've seen them, you've seen them. They're just small. Ed, if you've seen them, you've, seen, you've them. seen them, man. I, my mum had a Nissan Micra for a bit. Fucking awful thing. So did mine. Terrible car. Bright green as well, like, but, but like, like, you know, race car <laughs> green. Would you be like, can you just drop this around the corner? Yeah, generally, it was awful, <laughs> awful thing, man. What would you, Waste what would you guys normally, everything. what would you guys normally have for breakfast before school? I'm curious here. I want to see. I'd have one of them frosty breakfast bars. Oh, for bre that's awful, Cam. They starved you up. Oh, though. honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. I had the most disgusting thing when I'd make it. I made the most disgusting thing. I used to put butter and Nutella on my toast. <laughs> you're a, mate. You're a no wonder you've got to run every day. <laughs> Still running them calories off, man. I would generally have fruit bran flakes. It was torture. This is what I've turned out to be what, the fruit. Muesli? Yeah, pretty wow. much, man. Oh, wow. My it's parents down south. hated me. <laughs> My mum gave me muesli. I wouldn't come home. <laughs> oh, I'd call Bernardo's. Rabbit, <laughs> rabbit food Bernardo's. That's awful. 8 a.m. on Wednesday morning. Bye, only be windy, steady here. Harrop Fold Student Development Officer, Miss Kay, is out in the local community. Mm. Quick, really quick! Oh my god, it's all good there. Oh god! The student development team, we have direct links with the community. Does everyone in this school have the same haircut? <laughs> yeah, they're all the same person. <laughs> what the same hell? eyebrows. Yeah, what's going on in Manchester? They're all clones up there. And they always sit in the back seat. They're definitely picking up some absolute unit that has to go in the front. <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely picking up some six foot five centre back with their shin pads on. Rio, pick you up in the morning, pal. <laughs> <laughs> driving test the second time. I always have traumas driving to Rio. Quite a lot of our students' attendance is poor. We do have some who refuse to come to school. That's a good start, isn't it? Man, school in Manchester that, must be great. Is that the teacher picking them up? I think it yeah, is. I think it's like she works. Teacher and her daughter. Oh, right, I just thought she was randomly knocking on the student's house. Oh, so when I oh, pick up students, it's wrong. In. But when she does it, that's fine. <laughs> oh, it's not sure. Sorry. <laughs> so our priority as a team is to make sure they're in school every day, they're ready to learn. 
Hermione Mia. Are you ready? No, she is just picking students up because they refuse to come in on their own. Oh, oh that's... Is this not... Is this, a, is this a thing that happens? I didn't realise this is a thing that happens. Yeah, like... Uh, I say the TV licence, man. <laughs> but <there's a> <laughs> but come, come to school. So, one of our jobs is to go and knock on the door. Say, come on, get out of bed. I've been in... Do they not have parents? I mean, maybe they don't. I mean, that's a really insensitive comment. Um, but... <laughs> What, your parents died? Ah, uh, what the peasant. fuck? Go to school. <laughs> your parents are drug addicts. Wow. <laughs> Can never be me. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, it doesn't come across very well. I take it back. You would hate this woman, though, wouldn't you? Oh, like, yeah, you the woman the, who comes and takes you to school. It's like the Grim Reaper, there's, mate. There's definitely going to be someone that rebels, and it's going to be like, I ain't coming. I don't know why they're from Texas. Uh, but there's definitely going to be someone that's like, I'm not coming. The classic Texas. I'm not, I'm not coming, lad. That's uh, Texas Mancunian link there. Oh, I'm not, I'm not coming, lad. Wait, that's better. That's an improvement. Bedroom's getting them out of bed. Part of the job. This music's very inspirational. Wait, nice school, to be fair. All schools kind of look the same, Lewis. And also, complimenting a school is strange. I Alex mean, it looks, it looks better when you're not behind the fence. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not allowed to look at schools anymore because uh, I've got that 400 yard ban. Because <laughs> you can't reach over the fence, mate. Okay, that too. Oh, sorry. Where did she come from? <laughs> they just picked one? her up. Oh, that was the one yeah. they just picked up, the one in the oh. blue jeans. Yeah, they've all been forced. I need, I need to see who's going to be in the front. I don't think there's anybody in the front. They, she hates the students that much. She's got nobody in the front, all in the back. The inspirational music is a fascinating choice, I'm not going to lie. Is this going to make me want to go to Manchester? Cause I... Yeah, can you imagine, like, the, the, the cameraman has to film this shot and all the students. It's a bit creepy, isn't it? Yeah, also, if I was a kid, I wouldn't be able to ignore the giant camera that would have been following me around. I'd be, like, I'd be messing with it constantly. I'm amazed oh, that if any... You'd be doing, like, a commentary video in front of it, wouldn't you? Yeah, no, i just go to YouTube <laughs> mode. I, I don't understand how they could like have any B-roll footage that isn't just people just fucking doing that the entire time. <laughs> oh, God. What a morning. Right. We've got everybody now. For got everyone in. He's saying he feels very sick and he's had nothing to eat since two... Oh, don't worry, son. Just put a wet paper towel on it. It's fine. <laughs> One of those blue paper towels. That, that was how you know that they weren't taking you seriously when they gave you one yeah. of those. Oh, sorry, miss, I've got cancer. Oh, it's all right, just have your tea. It's fine. You'll be fine after that. Have your blue paper towel and it will go away. Did anyone at your school have cancer? There was a girl that lied about it in mine. Yeah, same. Um, and they went on to become a famous influencer who everybody knows. Oh, Do really? I know them? Yes, all of you know them. Oh, what? Well, well, Belle Delphine. <laughs> Lewis! Belle Delphine? She lied about having cancer. That's she? what I, I was told that by 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 people when I went home last time. I don't know if it's true. Wait, she went oh. to your school? Yeah, me and Belle Delphine went to the same school at the same time. What? Yeah, she was in a year below. Oh. He'd know. Yeah, he'd know. Fuck out with the cup. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Can't even say that's awful. That's fucking. Pre ordering. That's, that's, Pre -ordering. that's fucking. That's, Please deposit down. That's terrible. No brand deal going on this video, I'm telling you that for sure. <laughs> Did he have his tea? He had um, savoury rice. Miss K is one of the Fish and a rice. The end. Fish and a rice. <laughs> savoury rice isn't exactly a, a hearty meal, I'm not yeah, going to lie to you. As opposed to sweet rice. Sweet and sour? Well, Alex, maybe people can't afford more than just rice, so okay. you just made yourself seem privileged there. <laughs> what about a 2 million subscriber YouTuber doesn't seem privileged to you, Lewis Buck? And I, I am <laughs> fucked by default, really. Everybody knows. Everybody see me walking around in my stupid little jumpers. They know I'm a horrible little bastard. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go through this video, just being horrible. That's what we're gonna do now. That, that little kid just eat savoury rice. Why was you spending two grand on a jumper <laughs> to make a video on Snapshot Eye? So. <laughs> I did spend four hundred pounds on a snapshot eye puppet. I did do that. Did it come? Oh Have you not seen it? Where oh. is it? Where you I got all? a four hundred pound snapshot eye thing and then didn't even show it. That's when you know you're rich. 
have to be. Have you guys spent phones and pounds on a snap? Just wait until he gets it. his walking wardrobe no. open. No, no. You know what I'd like to say to Cam Kirkham, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? When's your Don't Me Your Day? Wait, have you showed us on a video? I have, I put what? this in a video. Oh fuck, I can't. Paul, help me. <laughs> oh Paul, help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thanks, Paul, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh oh he's a Man God. United fan, you know, Paul Breach. Really? Explain. Is, is, is Paul Breach been on the sunbeds? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just had a week long in Ibiza. Magaluf, probably for him. Hello, everyone. It's me, Paul. I love school. <laughs> I love. Well, sc- we- <laughs> I love schools, guys. I'm Paul Breach. You need to work on your Bible. Any, anybody want a selfie? Anyway, Alex, you're not supposed to move your mouth. <laughs> Anybody want to sell me? Now close your fucking mouth, you. Anybody want to sell me? Sing green, green grass. Green, green grass. And his voice. Green, green grass. Blue, blue sky. I don't know how he sounds. I don't know. Blue, blue sky. Fuck off! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright, yes. <laughs> Get rid of Paul Breach, man. That's where, Wait, the, dynamic. Yeah, that's where all the money goes on this YouTube channel, guys. Uh, it goes with shit like that. <laughs> so please sign Good. up for my Patreon. Because <laughs> I need it. Become, a, become a channel member, guys. Become a channel member. Uh, that'd be great, you know. Uh, get your cool little badge, get your cool little emotes. I'd love that. Um, you can get a Paul Breach emote. Oh, that's, I don't know if that's legal, but we'll make one. It's only like four quid if you want it, like fiver. Go, go buy it now. I need more money. Oh, I'm going to end up on the rice. And who work in the student development team. They deal with any issue the students bring to their door. And then about nine o'clock, he come down and had two packets of noodles. So at nine o'clock last night, you had two packets of noodles. Is that right? Got two? <laughs> what a fat bastard. Four, it? <laughs> oh, you've got the other way. I've gone that he's got some dignity and he wouldn't need two. I oh, do you know what? Normally, if I have noodles, I have to do two. I feel like they. Uh... Wait, so is he trying to go home and his excuse is, I'm hungry? If so, that's the shittest excuse ever. I don't know. If you haven't eaten anything, I feel like that's pretty valid. Is that I need... No, you can just... No, the cunt just had two noodles. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> at 9pm the other... The day before. Yeah, what do you think? He's stocking up for the winter, Louis. Well, yeah. Well, fucking... She, she ate the other... He ate, he ate two. If he didn't want... To, if he wanted to have dinner the next night, he should have not ate two. Wait, it got Christ to look like Licky's mum. I'm not going to lie. I, I remember fucking... I had, like, fuck all money, like, when I was a kid. And I remember, like, going to school with two pound. And I had... And that had to get me through break and lunch. And a panini was one pound ten. I and mean, then nothing else on the on the menu was priced like lower than that apart from jelly. So I used to eat a panini at like 10 a.m. and then I'd have jelly for lunch, two pots of jelly for lunch, and I'd have to steal a sandwich in like I yeah. hollowed out the inside of my blazer pocket and I would shove two sandwiches in there when the teachers weren't looking and go out because that was the only way I could eat lunch because I couldn't afford. Wow. There was always Thief. that one rich mate they got a Thief. fiver for lunch every day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, with a note. There came was always note. that one guy. Yeah. <clears throat> and people would barter with them to buy them the rest of their lunch. That's mental, by the way. I remember generally being a child and bartering with people, being like, I will pay you back tomorrow because I'm so hungry today. I'll be like, I will just give you my two quid tomorrow. Or I'll bring yeah. you something in. No, we had we had Chinese we had Chinese Fridays where we'd go to the Chinese. And, and you can't say that name. anymore. <laughs> and then... Um, but if we're I going to the Chinese, we'd ask them for more money. We, we, we only went please. on Fridays. Chinese <laughs> students, Fridays. can we please have some more cash? <laughs> it, was only, it was a bit more expensive, so we only did it on Friday, special occasion, but I'd have to run home afterwards because I couldn't afford the bus. The calories? Oh. Oh. Because <laughs> you're a fat bastard. Yeah. In Newcastle, we don't have Chinese. Oh, my. Well, we, we just, do. We, we just do. have we Newcastle do. knees. Newcastle knees. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what they call it. We just there. eat the knees of our children. <laughs> Fucking hell. Well, I didn't know. I knew you were savage, but I didn't realise you were like orc. We just have garlic sauce on chips. <laughs> What's his name, Cam? Alan Barnes. Yeah. Who the fuck is that? Is he like your <laughs> Jamie <laughs> Oliver? <laughs> you don't, you don't know who Alan He's Barnes not is. Jamie Oliver. <laughs> giggle, giggle, Alan Barnes. No, don't. Don't. <laughs> Who's Alan? And, and I want to see your reaction. He's Alex, a, why are you laughing? He's a mugging victim. <laughs> No, 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 he's not a victim. Wait he's a prick. Till, he's an absolute bell end. He actually is a prick. The, wait till you hear the full story. It's, it's really funny. No, not the mugging man. part. Yeah, don't listen to his lies. He's a liar and a thief. <laughs> so, pretty Just because you've got that condition doesn't mean you can't be a dick. So. <laughs> 
so Alex, pretty much, Cam will tell you better. But I'm sh- he got mugged. Then he started a GoFundMe. Then I think a girl raised him three hundred thousand pounds, and then that girl went bankrupt, and he gave her a tenner in in change in coins. <laughs> and then she was still bankrupt. <laughs> Look at that comment. Chloe says that to me a lot. A creature in a mask. Nice one, John. With a crow as a profile picture with all the words "rest in peace." <laughs> Rest in peace to the crow. Rest in peace, crow. Stand with you. Back to Manchester. It was last night at nine o'clock. And then for your tea, you had savoury rice. Everything comes to our doors. It's because they fell out with the mates, they fell out with the boyfriend, the football team's lost, the dogs died, or they're upset and they don't know why they're upset. So they've got depression. Bloody hell, their football team and depression. Oh, children! <laughs> Just that little thing. They get, oh, they get on my nerves! <laughs> you know, well, my football team's lost in depression. Two very similar things that should be put in the, in the same breath. <laughs> right, you winning! What's happened to him? He got wet with a towel. <laughs> Somebody's... Is it an ice pack? Yeah, somebody's... Just... he's been assaulted. Hey, mate, you've got sand on your head, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. He's definitely been beaten up. No, Margaret, I'm actually dying. Why, what's the way? Oh, I've got period pain. You can't die of period pain. No, you don't understand how bad they are. When I came to Harrotfold, there wasn't a student development team, so we decided to have a non-teaching team, education welfare officers, social workers, oh, people from those kind man. of... Back- oh, sorry, fuck. I don't think they can help. I didn't see. I don't think, I they, didn't see. I don't think they can reach down and. and I, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, feel they're not. A, they're not really able. Uh, I've got something I can't see yeah, on YouTube.com. What would that be? Why is there instructions Blue on the it. back of a wheelchair? <laughs> don't keep that one in it, uh, please. Don't keep that one in it. Uh, I don't please. think she's actually in a wheelchair. I know. I know. I think she's just. They, they've they given them a wheelchair because why not? Like, I don't, maybe they've run out of chairs in Manchester, I don't know. Well, it's a bit dramatic if she's got a bad foot. It, well, you know what school's like. ...ground to help support young people with their social emotions. God, if you were named Mr D in my school, you would have you would have just... Yeah. You would have gone out the arse. Can you hold for needs, ...as well as the academic studies. Don't speak to me. You just stay there and chill. Like, right, what's the no matter? This is giving me a rash. What's giving you a rash? This all being wet. That's not wet. My skirt, no, it's wet here, wet my tight, all my tights are wet. A frequent visitor to the student development room is 12 year old Caitlin. So, what do you need? Tights? I need to phone my mum. Right, okay, should we get her to bring you some tights in? You need some tights. Why are you getting so upset over because a pair of tights? Because it's irritating me. Right, it's probably you need to calm down. You need to calm down. <laughs> To be fair, I remember being in school and in like year 10, I was getting like a psoriasis rash and I actually just got told to eat my dinner and, and it'd be... That was their th- Just eat your dinner, you'll be fine, whereas I'm literally burning up like the sun. There's also horrible in Newcastle because it's just like, you just got like a plate of grill, don't you? So it's like, it's not even so that it's enjoyable. <laughs> it's just like, it's just slop. ...young lady. She's very emotional. When things go wrong for Caitlin, she overreacts. Not really being able to understand how she's feeling and she will just burst into tears. Hiya. Hiya, could you pop some, um, a clean shirt and some tights over for Caitlin? I'm not as self-confident in year eight as I was in year seven. In year seven, I wouldn't care less what anyone says, but now I do. Oh, bless her. Yeah, what a shame. I remember in year seven, just you know, being like bullied by this person who was like six foot five. They just in got, year seven. Yeah, they just constantly. Yeah, they just constantly. Oh, yeah. They were six foot five in year seven. Yeah, they were very tall. What did they eat? They were they were a teacher. <laughs> he definitely got four pound for his dinner. <laughs> I used to have a teacher. Used to wear like um vibrant coloured suits, like bright, like better call Saul, like bright. We had a teacher that came in an iron brew bottle. What? 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 It was just one of the rumours, apparently. He got oh, caught. he came in. Oh, I thought you made he, he dressed he, oh. up in one. I no, thought you no, no, he drived no, no. one. No. <laughs> he just came to school in it. No, night. apparently he uh, ejaculated in an iron brew bottle in the, the cupboard. Would probably taste better than actual iron brew. <laughs> I mean, I, 
I I I I, I know I know it was true. <laughs> what? Why do you know? Because I was the one wanking him off. Okay, fucking. Uh, no, no, the, the, the story was apparently um, fabricated, but I I like to believe it was true for the drama. That's drama, <laughs> is it in Scotland? That's the crazy story that goes around the school. Yeah, of course it's an iron brew bottle as well. Not even like Doctor Pepper. No, it would have been. Scottish thing ever. That'd be the Scottish story possible. <laughs> that's a crime, you know. You're not allowed to come and say an iron brew bottle. What? That's perfectly. actually in legislation. Yeah, that's perfectly valid. I think. Big word for Newcastle there. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just scratch that out. Spell song. it. <laughs> spell it, Cam. Spell it. No. I reckon one barn every minute is dead fate. Yeah. My mum said it as well. Oh, Alex Jones over here. God, that wallpaper is such a fucking throwback. Reminds us of, like, did you have to do my maths? Yeah, man. That was unreal. My maths. Look at my maths. Fucking horrible. In Scotland, we don't have maths, mate. No, you just what have, you have chalk and, and brick. <laughs> and they just write cro crosses and circles on it. <laughs> you see the cameras. You don't hear much screaming. Not many women scream at art. And that's what, that's what I was trying to control it and, like, think, God, it's really hurting, but... Year 11, Mia is seven months pregnant. Yeah, what? What? Oh, God. Seven months? Seven months? That's what, hell what, of a... What, she got pregnant at fucking ten? That's a hell of... No, year 11, you idiot. Not a, oh, not a, I've always, no, I've, I've The it, year oh. of her is 11. No. Oh, fucking hell. Year 11. Jesus Christ. So she's 16, How old maybe. is that? You just have fucking weird English systems. 16. Oh, 16, 16, oh we, yeah. we, we, had, we had someone 16? who's pregnant... We had someone who was pregnant at 14, and the boyfriend's head was so big, I was convinced it was going to kill her. Cherry. Honestly, <laughs> he had, he, on, I'm not even lying, he had one of the biggest heads I've ever seen. It was like a pillow. Like, massive. I don't mean forehead, I mean, like, he's actual just Which head. Which are we talking about? Oh, like a bobble head. Like Alan Barnes. Massive. Get pregnant. That's the decision they make. We're, we're not here to judge. We're here to support. Just because you're having a baby at 15 doesn't mean your life's over. It does. <laughs> 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 Did, I think I told you, my, one of my goals when <laughs> yeah, I left you school did. was to have a baby when I was like 17. You're not me, myself. I was going to say good luck to you, mate. It's not necessarily the best choice you've ever made in your life, and we're not going to lie. Our priority is making sure she's ready for the exams, get good GCSEs, to give her little baby girl a really good life. What? Oh my day! <laughs> That's not even all of the clothes, Margaret. That's baby grows. That's vests and socks. I hope she looks better after a kid than that I fucking phone. I love babies. Wouldn't be a brilliant mum. That's one of us smiling. Oh, oh it's born. No, that's... No, man. No. That's you, a scan, you You're an idiot. idiot. Are you all right? Wait, the baby's got a selfie. Do you have any... Edu <laughs> did you have fucking any educating? Maybe cheeky it's, one. I need to send you here. Aye, but it's in <laughs> colour. Yeah, it's, we're in the year 2000, mate. Lewis, are your TVs black and white? Are you yeah, watching this in black and yeah, white? Yeah, what's going yeah. on? <laughs> I am. Um... Catch up to speed, son. She slept at Demi's last night. She just rung her mum and said, I'm coming home, I'm going to school, I've got a rash. No, don't think so. Don't. You're coming to fucking school whether you like it or not. <laughs> Cam Kirkham and your rash. <laughs> She's like the fucking school enforcer, <laughs> isn't she? Yeah, she really wants people to go to school, which is admirable. <laughs> The Rash Police. Yeah. Rashford. He's in Manchester, isn't he? He's close. Or something. Mm -hmm. It's a reference. Hungry kids. Yeah, he'd make sure they're all hungry. He'd make sure they're all... He'd make, he'd make, he'd tell Marcus Rashford that that kid was hungry. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and he would bring them to the school. He would. He would he'd be right on it. I mean, Marcus Rashford is probably like seven years old during the time of filming this. <laughs> He's, he might be here. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Cheers. Thank you. Right, so tomorrow, new day. Fresh start, yeah? All right then, thank you. Thank you. Bye Cheers. Now. You got eight beats, listen again. All four slow ones, so listen. Two, three, four. Yeah. What's oh you my Alex? god, it's same Alex! Did you go to the school? Yes! Oh, don't get it fucking out, don't get it fucking out, don't get it fucking out, don't get it fucking out. YouTube and barbecue chips. Are you ready? Are you ready? YouTube and barbecue chips. I've been sucking so much dick. Lewis. Alright, are you ready, Lewis Bucking? If I ever murder you, it'll be with that ukulele. <laughs> That'll be the fucking murder with. No. I would strangle him with the strings. Oh, I've been scared of Lewis Bucking. 
Cause people from Scotland should be all nuked. What you don't realise is that's not a ukulele for him, Alex. That's just a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got a guitar. <laughs> oh no. Fucking Christ! Quit, are you ready? Fuck, is it the same size as you? It's like bloody Johnny Cash. <laughs> Ow! Sorry. He has got a ring of fire. Are you re- I don't know what that means. Are you ready? What should I. What you- a burning arsehole. Here's, uh, here's uh, Wonderwall. I'm joking, that's not. Very on brand from Manchester. Yeah, true, actually. Shall I sing a song quickly? Shall I freestyle a song? What should I. Give me something I should freestyle about. Um, oh, terrorists. Paul oh, Bridge and terrorists. Go. I don't like. Terrorists. That's good. Paul but Bridge I really do like is a. Child toucher. Oh, you could have said someone else that rings with Lewis. You are fucking hell. You're getting paid by the word. Gay. There you go. Right. <laughs> fucking hell. Put it back. Get rid of that guitar. Damn. Those lyrics are going to go down in history. Yeah, guys. Uh, pre-order my new album coming out on Spotify soon. Uh, I'm a YouTube reader's music because we need another one of those. That's sick. That's current play. What's your problem with it? Well, spies thinking they can say everything to me and then I just don't feel well. Oh, the trouble is, Caitlin, we've been through this so many times. It's mid morning, and year eight Caitlin is refusing to go to her next lesson. Why? I know you don't want to, but that's what we've got to do. I'll tell you straight, I've had enough of you. Oh, that's good. That's helping. <laughs> Bloody hell, mate. I'll tell you straight. Yeah, thanks for your input. I don't fucking like you. It's like, all right, mate, you're the adult in this situation. Get a I'll grip. I'm like going mental. <laughs> oh, you want to be at Old Trafford, mate? You're a game to referee. There's always tears, and then there'll be laughter, and then I've had enough. Well, it's not my fault, is it? There's people in the school that are angry. But you're not giving us a chance, are you? She, she's getting to the stage now. She won't go into a lesson. I think it's maybe time to look at another approach because... We're getting pretty desperate now. Did any of you guys skip lessons or whatever? Um, do I ever skip a lesson? Two. Um, there was a science teacher who, and I only skipped it like three times. And you I, guys just had no like chemistry. <laughs> you a gam. That actually was. And you guys only don't have chemistry. No, they don't. <laughs> they just have magic lights and stuff happens. <laughs> um, I can't explain that. Fire. I ate two stone together, and they make light. That's, yeah. that's Newcastle, guys. That's what it's like there. Obligado. Don't start that. Oh, that's my only word of knowledge. Well, it's very I, impressive. You said I, I could say two big beers in Portuguese many years ago. I learned it in 26 languages. <laughs> we had flex. And then we'll make sure you have visits at least twice a week, and then you can go home and have a rest and off. Well, can I ring my mum to see yeah. where she is? Yeah. Use the bat phone. Sure. Obviously, Mia's going to want to be with a baby, and I can thoroughly understand yeah, that. Yeah. Discuss that with Mia. Is the baby going to come to lesson with her? Like, you start getting early education. The baby's like taking her GCSEs four years ahead. Yeah, yeah, four. Well, like fucking sixteen. If it's if it starts <laughs> on at this point, I mean, it might be great, you know, because you, you know, her mum will be fresh of mind. She'll know, you know, by the time the next GCSE system rolls around, the papers probably haven't really changed that much. So this is actually <laughs> brilliant. Everybody should do this. A mum's happy to babysit, she knows when the exams are. Hello? Hello, mum. Yeah? I can come home. What? I'm allowed to come home. Who said you're allowed to come home? Miss K. She thinks I'm telling lies. She's not telling lies to you. My worry is when Mia's had the baby that she won't return for exams. This lass is actually, like, quite nice to Cam, be Cam, no, Cam, you can't say that. Jesus. No, not in that way. What the fuck, Lewis? You're minding the bloody gutter. You're already trying to sleep with the... Elderly people at the school, you nut job. The game's a game. <laughs> Shut the up. game's the so game. So our priority is making sure she knows that to give her little baby girl a really good life, getting good GCSEs, is really important. Well, I didn't. And look at me. Yeah, exactly. GCSEs, look at him. How many GCSEs do you have? I actually, I actually passed all of them apart from French. That was the only one that I, I fit. But even in French, I think... In Newcastle, like, they don't have GCSEs. What do they have? Go on. What NCSEs. do they have? NCSEs. What? Uh, the Newcastle secondary education. And by that, what they do is they get to, they see if you can bang two big 
rocks together and create fire <laughs> and then if you could do that they go you'll survive and if they you've send got the you full set of teeth you pass your exams in Newcastle that's why I failed <laughs> <laughs> but in Scotland we don't actually have GCSE so actually I've got too many teeth in my mouth so if anything I'm a puff yeah, of flying you know, flying <laughs> wait you don't have GCSEs Lewis uh, you, no but you don't have GCSEs in Scotland do you just do your sats and they're done with you <laughs> yeah, do we, we your have, own thing now we have standard grades in hires or are now called national fours and national fives fucking hell what does that mean weirdos I'm a national five baby that means nothing to anybody though. Five out of ten. <laughs> I didn't get anything higher than a B. Um in and I can't even tell you what I got a B in anymore. Like, uh I just got C's and B's because I couldn't be I couldn't be I hated it. So I just like did bare minimum so I could get through. And I went to college and then I became a fucking YouTuber. So um What, there's a YouTuber college? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh the graduates is me. Uh, <laughs> me, Shane Dawson and, and uh, Lion Maker. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's horrible. Diverse. Funny reference. I love it. Funny. Two of those are sex offenders, allegedly. <laughs> Sorry, three. Do you mean? Uh, Arthur TV proved that in a court of law, <laughs> Shane Dawson's fine. That is true, actually. That is true. Well, that oh, was yes, a, two, then. that was a wholesome ending to this episode of Great in Manchester. If you want us to come back and watch more episodes, then don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to all the boys, and we'll see you guys soon, everyone. Bye. Oh, hey, hey.